Hello all, here we have another video. Now, I had a problem with this car. Turbo actuator. So, when you turn the key, this little lever here goes up and down, moves the vanes inside the turbo and controls the pressure within the turbo. Now, what happens is with these things is they break down inside here. The circuitry goes uh, I'll show you actually one second. I shall open this up for you. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. That's the inside of my original Heller Garrett turbo actuator. Now, if you look in here, what tends to happen is these two right here, they become unsoldered. You can't really tell on these things, but those little points You've got two there, and all of these others here start to lose their, their continuity. And what happens is they, they, they break off. Now, in their wisdom, my original intention was just to resolder these. Yeah, resolder them all? Easy, yeah? No. They're all bloody aluminium coated, which means to do two sim simple solders, I'd have to grind each one of these tiny connectors down to the copper base and then do it and if i'm going to do those two i might as well do those two as well it's a pig of a job it's a pain in the ass so option a you could meticulously grind these down and do this or just buy a new one there you go look see there you go 60 quid on ebay all you have to do is make damn sure your numbers on the original unit match your numbers on your new unit. In my case, it's a G277 and the numbers NW009, they all match the new, the new one, which I bought on eBay. There you go. Now, as you can see, now when you turn it on, let's see if I can get this, you can see the thing through there if I zoom in there there's the the rotor arm if you notice when I turn the key if you watch that there we go doing exactly what it's supposed to do opens up the turbo vanes when you're about to start the car my one was completely dead so that's that replace that it's quite self-explanatory. There's a few bolts at the back. You've got a little, little thing here. A little. This is the actual thing itself. A little clip on there. You pull it off. All very straightforward. Very simple. And now I'm going to put it all back together again. And that's it. But if you've got one of these, um, you'll get an error code come up, which will say something like um, "turbo waste gate." I think it's a P one one something uh, error code. Uh, but uh, I'll double check that. In my case, what I was getting was a P0244 error code, um, which was for a wastegate solenoid. Effectively, the pressure inside this turbo wasn't being released. It was putting the car into limp mode. So you get like a 30-40% reduction in your power. It was happening on and off. I would cycle the ignition and it would be good. But it decided to give up the ghost completely and I couldn't get it to reset. Thus, why I've replaced it. So I'm going to put it all back together again and go and give it a test. And we'll see what happens. And also plug your thing in, make sure you clear any faults that are already existing in the, in the, in the, in the computer with your OBD2 eraser, if you've got one. But uh, always good to do. Give it a fresh, fresher delete and see what happens. We'll go and try it out. Yep, just a follow up video, all good. Test drive, perfect. Turbo is working correctly. Uh, the actuator moves as as you're going along. It'll adjust the turbo. Whatever it needs to do, it'll move the vanes in and out and do what it needs to do. It's working beautifully. Um, but no error codes whatsoever. So yeah, that's a successful repair. If you've got the same problem, think about going down the same lines or meticulously resolder it. Bit of a pain in the ass for me. Yeah, just replace the part. If you look on eBay, you can find them. Just match the codes up. 
thanks for watching